Welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutler. Now, it's going to be a brief intro because we did a lot of testing with the BK2. That's the knife we're doing today, 1095 Crovan. Now, as I get into the uh, narration and that type of thing, I'll go over a little more of the 1095 Crovan. It is an old, old steel, uh, pretty fascinating. Uh, and we'll get over to that more. I'll also give you some of the dimensions. I believe that's a, a five inch blade, uh, four and a half inch handle, something like that, quarter inch. Awesome, awesome knife. Now, last night I unboxed a gift from Captain Electra, and I'll show you again. It's the Medford, uh, large Praetorian. This is S90V. Man, Cap, thank you again, dude. I, I, I'm just, I've been speechless for two days, and you'll find with me that it's hard uh, to catch me off guard or, or, or just kind of be speechless. And what a phenomenal gift. It's American made, it's a veteran that makes it, it's, it's everything um, I, that I would want in a knife. Uh, Medford and, and honestly, uh, a Randall were my grill knives and this just to have one is, is insane. So I can't thank you enough and, and sincerely thank you enough for that. Now, before I start showing the demonstrations and the cutting of the BK2, 22 veterans a day commit suicide. We'll never lose sight of that. I actually messaged uh, Project Valhalla this morning and just said, hey man, th this is what we've done so far. What can we do to help? Their message was simple. Make sure that the veterans in your life know that you care about them and you're there for them and let's raise awareness. Same thing we've been doing. So let me take this opportunity to you guys that are veterans that are suffering it, nobody knows what you guys seen except other veterans. So I'm not a veteran, never served in the military. Don't pretend that I do. I wear camouflage shorts because I've wore camos since I was a kid, man. But I never want to give off the eye, you know, that I was in the military. And most of you are going, dude, don't, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows you wasn't in the military. Guys, we love you. If you served in combat, if you're a veteran, we love you. If you ever served in the military, we love you. Yeah, yeah. Just your willingness to go, your willingness to serve, your willingness to sacrifice. I don't say a lot about like the Vietnam guys because I get too mad over the way they were treated uh, when they come home, and I and and and, and, and I'll, it, it'd just be bad. But Vietnam, uh, Korean vets, our Korean vets, they're dying out, man. All our World War II guys are gone. That's mind-boggling to me. I'm almost 50. My grandfather was an old World War II guy. Was awarded the Bronze Star in Italy. Um, was shot three times in Italy. Just, I, I'll do a whole thing on Granddaddy one day. But our, our World War II guys are gone for the most part. I don't, there may be one, two left, maybe. Um, and the Korean guys are dying out. And a lot of the Vietnam guys have stayed silent and suffered in silence for years. So I don't care what war you served in. Know this, we care about you, we love you, we're here for you. Reach out to somebody you trust. Guys, if you want to support somebody that's doing some good, Project Valhalla, The Fire Watch, Mission 22, Southeastern Guide Dogs, those are reputable charities, charities that are doing something. And if you want to do something, reach out to one of them. Thank you again for everybody who donated in our raffle and supported Southeastern Guide Dogs. To our Leos, man, I love you. God knows I do. We back the blue. We do that by not breaking the law. And to my addicts, you're near and dear to my heart, man, and you got a place here. And let me encourage you, uh, dealing with some situations right now where addiction's just leveled families, and it's some bad shit. So if you're fighting addiction, no matter what walk of life you're from, just know this, there's hope, there's ways to get off of it. It's, it's, it's tough, and there's a lot of folks, there's a lot of roadblocks, but we're here for you. So having said all that, guys, without any further ado, you, uh, one last thank you to Captain Electro, and, and and a special thank you to Backyard Samurai Man. He I, I wouldn't have known half half you guys if it wasn't for Backyard Samurai. So guys, I love you. God bless you. Uh, let's get on to the cutting. Well, thank you, Scab. Hey, that red marker right there is our line of sight. See how I'm in front of it? Now, as we're cutting through the the woods and the swamp, we'll look back and make sure we're in line with that red marker. It's painted on both sides. So to all my tree hugging buddies, buddies man, I love y'all, God bless y'all, but this is work stuff, okay? Now, a lot of this testing I'm gonna do. Now, let me say this again. This is work type stuff. 
Okay, we're going in here clearing the lines so we can shoot some transit, some topo, build some malls and food courts and stuff like that. No yards. A little scab there looking muscular in the back. Son, if I never turned around, I'd, I'd, I'd look like a, a, a damn power lifter. Unfortunately, when I turn around, I look like Baby Huey. But there we go. Now, the BK2, that 1095 Crovan, son, that's an old steel. I didn't realize how old it was. And I'm going to do a separate video because there, there's some tie-ins with a uh, K-Bar. And this is a Becker, uh, uh, Ethan Becker and K-Bar collaboration. Now, Becker's collab with a couple people. But this is the K-Bar iteration. Now, 1095 Crovan is 1095 added with a little bit of chromium and a little bit of vanadium. It is no longer 1095. Now, the steel, this is an old, old steel. It's from the now defunct uh, Sharon Steel Company, 170-06. Years and years ago, uh, they used it. Not only did uh, did K-Bar use it, and you remember now, K-Bar's a pretty old company, but K-Bar, uh, Case, Cutco, uh, Robeson, Ken Folks, Champlin, Crandall, they were all up in there in that southwest New York, northwestern PA. I'm going to do some, uh, I'm going to do some te uh, uh, video on that, because I'm going to tell you something, That's, I love history, love history, and there's some damn good uh, historical fact in there. All them companies at one time had a lot of crossover, so you had some bloodlines tying them companies together. That's pretty, Case and K-Bar, man, that's pretty fascinating. But what you see here is this bad boy just going to work. Now, I'm sure I got the dimensions wrong, so somebody can call me out. But I do that on purpose, so you guys go in here and do your homework. I can't do everything for you. Now, that right there is why I got a lanyard on that thing. Y'all say about cut my leg, slap off right here, but seasoned veteran that I am, had my, had my lanyard on there, whipped it all around. Uh, probably shouldn't have got so many pictures there of my ass, but, you know, a, a lot of people pay a lot of money to see that. So what can you do? Now, y'all notice I'm hit, I'm beating up palmettas. Now, in a minute, we're going to get on some bamboo. This was a rough, rough, rough area. And my Becker BK2 handled it, son. Now, my next knife in the chopper mode that I want to get is the Becker BK9. That one, um, I'm not going to call it a grill knife because it's 100 bucks. I just, man, every time I go to get one, there's something else I want or, or, or something happens. But I've been fascinated with one, so that Becker BK-9 is on the list. I got a massive list. But this BK-2, son, it gets it done. Now, here's the thing. Let me throw this out there with 1095 Crovan. It is incredibly hard, uh, and it is incredibly tough. Now, the harder you get it, if you if you go super, look at him move, son. Like, a, like El Gato. Now I speeded this up or slowed it down. It just some cat-like moves. We'd be here all day if I if I actually showed you all the footage. Now what am I doing here? I'm beating up this bamboo. Now, let me say this, and I'm gonna get off to 1095. One of the things that I studied on it, I read on it before somebody said, you know, Skip, that's not correct. Read, Google it. It ain't it ain't hard. Um, if you want toughness, you know, it's toughness or hardness. Now you can get a super hard Rockwell. You're gonna sacrifice a little toughness. But it holds an edge exceptionally well. It's very easy to sharpen. I'm the world's worst sharpener, and I can sharpen it up. Now, here we're just going to work on this bamboo. You know, I beat on this bamboo, beat on this bamboo, beat on this bamboo. Now, when I do my test, I keep the same edge all the way through. All the way through. Um, at the end, I may strop it a little bit. Now, there's been some blades I've beat up pretty good, and y'all know that. I mean, hell, I've hit cinder blocks with a couple of them. But this thing right here just hung in there. Here I am again, checking my look in the mirror, pulling my shirt down. That's something nobody wants to see. Um, it, man, it just hacked through this bamboo. And I'm going to tell y'all something, son. Since we've been kind of helping survey out and cutting lines, waiting on some more work to come in, I have got a healthy, healthy respect for them boys right there, son. So, guys, if you're in survey, I know a lot of the guys in the company watch this. I, man, hats off to y'all. This is what them boys do day in and day out, son. And there's moccasins in there. There's rattlesnakes. There's all kind of stuff. And they get in there and get it done, you know, so we can get our next uh, five guys or whatever we need. But I want y'all to notice this blade. Now, I said it's a five-inch blade. It, it might top out at five. I know it ain't six. Um, 
but it's going in there son going to work now i had to edit this part because i knocked my damn tripod over getting in there yep, yep there we go now watch this boom i sped up this part too but now look you talking about a quarter inch blade that sliced through that bottle well my guy mark i can't lie my guy mark at work i got him to put that japanese style blade on there son and y'all i'm telling y'all now watch this i've done a lot of chopping this is after all the chopping just look at that delicate work now one thing that and i, I said i wasn't gonna say anything else but i got to one thing i did read this is not a corrosion resistant steel at all yes it's got chromium but it's minute amounts so after this i took i, I took my sponge y'all know i keep some mineral spirits wd-40 wiped it down really really good um and that's something on that medford i'm gonna have to learn you can't do all that you got a specific plans i've been talking to my boy uh ben back and forth hey if y'all want to know some stuff on a knife ben at rear guy r-o-o-r -O -O -R, guy 27 so that dude right there is a wealth of knowledge uh, very clear very concise on his videos but but uh, dang i mean he's helped me out a lot like he gave me a lot of background on that medford and um i'm just blown away by it kind of like and, and i'll be honest with y'all this knife right here is one of my favorites this is my favorite test the donnie b all day test do i do i support donnie b all day son does a bear shit in the woods that's my boy right there d bad i'm gonna buy every knife he's got now we just throwing this thing down look at that son we did some stab test do i recommend this knife yes sir yes sir i do i don't know what you'd do with that but there you go now i found this wire out there i'm gonna show you another example of how how just sharp this knife stayed again you take the bevel out and just sharpen it now this is a good knife can you camp with it yeah is it rust resistant no so maintain your knives look up how to do it hey listen guys i love y'all god bless y'all 22 a day must stop leos keep your heads on the swivel boys better times are coming addicts hang in there we love y'all god bless y'all i'm scab you're not i remain